whistleblowers for a tireless work in the Panama Papers and other leagues. I think this brave work is really the essence of journalism. We are witness, I think you can see that, to obscure world. The tax haven industry is massive. The lack of transparency is outrageous. It's a dark side of the mega rich. It's used for terror finance, organized crime, corruption, tax dodging, and so on. And we see a lot of names that we recognize, Putin, Assad's regime, FIFA officials, the Icelandic Prime Minister, former Icelandic Prime Minister. What we have found is clearly that the, the mega rich and the biggest corporations in this planet, they can, you know, become uh, tax free and law free. It's systemic, it's all over the society. Je suis scandalisé de voir qu'il y a des grandes entreprises, des particuliers fortunés, qui ont encore assez de cupidité pour vouloir gagner toujours plus et pour éviter de payer leur juste part d'impôts et qui sont prêts pour ça à tout. We have heard journalists, we have heard experts. There is no political accountability in journalists or experts, but there is political accountability in the Commission. And there is political accountability within this house. We got to deliver. The Société Générale created in 2009 the two foundations. But now you're saying that now you have no uh, connection to them. Ça n'est pas euh, Société Générale qui les a qui les a créés n'en est en aucun cas le bénéficiaire. Senare samma år hölls även ett möte med Rodeas kontor i Luxemburg där det framkom att brevlågade företag är fortfarande intressanta. Au fond, l'évasion fiscale, l'optimisation fiscale, la fraude fiscale, c'est des montages juridiques très élaborés. C'est tout simplement l'histoire de quelqu'un qui est riche et qui estime qu'il paye trop d'impôts et qu'il veut payer moins d'impôts. Il a besoin de quelqu'un qui va l'aider à transférer tout son argent dans un autre pays et son banquier va l'aiguiller vers des experts fiscaux, des conseillers fiscaux qui vont lui faire tout un montage. On a une société écran totalement secrète, on ne sait pas qui la dirige, on ne sait pas combien il y a d'argent placé dans cette société. Monsac Fonseca a créé plus de 200 000 sociétés écrans qui sont totalement opaques et où on ne sait rien retrouver du tout euh, en termes d'impôts. L'impôt, ça sert à quoi L'impôt, ça sert à financer les biens publics dont nous nous servons. L'éducation, les routes, euh, les aéroports, les gares, etc. Et toute euh, entreprise qui a une activité se sert euh, de ce bien public. Steuern müssen alle zahlen. Keiner kann sich dieser Verpflichtung für das Gemeinwohl entziehen. We see kleptocrats from Angola or Azerbaijan or Russia steal the money and then try to launder it, transferring it into a, a European bank, and then invest it, for instance, in property or in legal corporations in the European Union. It's the same system that is used, by the way, by the mafia and all sorts of criminal organizations. We can't accept that we don't know who owns the company. We need transparency. I must first know from which country, in which country, Unternehmen oder reiche Einzelpersonen Geld verschieben. The sanctions are very low, so what we call for is high penalties, because then the financial sector will also become more aware of, of the cost of not having systems to prevent money laundering. We need to reinforce the instruments of the law enforcement and the tax authorities to really go after the criminals. We have to make our own EU uh, list of uh, high-risk countries for money laundering. Les conseillers légaux, les conseillers fiscaux, les avocats, les banquiers, ils doivent rendre des comptes à leur administration fiscale. These are uh, professions that are supposedly under self-regulation. One thing we have uncovered is that self-regulation doesn't work. We need proper supervision. Wir müssen auch innerhalb der Europäischen Union vor unserer eigenen Haustür kehren. Wir müssen dort, wo wir in einzelnen Ländern Fehlentwicklungen haben, diese offen ansprechen. We have call for a genuine reform of the of the the secret working groups in the council. Uh, they have for example the code of conduct group for business taxation for now 20 years and and there the, the countries sit uh, behind closed doors. It's the game that all these crooks are playing and they are not just in the industries they have captured people in our governments in our administrations in our political establishments to produce the laws or not to produce the laws that would indeed be enforced to regulate all this 
some crucial elements of disclosure of transparency are not acceptable by some member states. And who are these member states? Exactly the ones who have developed these industries of opacity. I think it's unacceptable that Credit Suisse and UBS refuse to stand before our committee. And not only it's a provocation for the European Parliament, but I think more importantly to democracy and the European citizens. I think these we need to end the world of where the mega rich and the big corporations, they are above the law, while the rest of, of the society has to follow the law. This is a fundamental democratic problem. Was notwendig ist, ein Aufschrei. Wir im Europäischen Parlament machen eh schon viel, vor allem wir Sozialdemokraten, aber wir brauchen hier quasi die, die, die Stimme des Volkes. Ja? And we hope that in the future a permanent inquiry committee will be set up in this parliament, so that member states as well as all this crooked industry understands that we're going to go after them.